Welcome, followers and friends alike, to another episode. Today, I'll be taking you down the cult path. Today, we're still needle felting. And at this point, I feel like I'm trying to make my own cult of needle felters. But no, we are making the lamb from Cult of the Lamb, the new game that just came out recently and I am currently addicted with. I am honestly starting to think that the people who made this game uh, know that Animal Crossing 1 is crack and 2 people like to swing shiny swords at monsters and go bam bam and give me shiny thing as reward, thank you. So I do believe that they're trying to make a cult of their own. Don't quote me on that, but like if somebody asks, the breaking news, I came up with it first. So we're starting with the head. This was kind of a tricky endeavor. I'm not going to lie to you. So we start by, you know, of course, just rolling this up. I want a circle. Why do I want a circle? Well, for some reason, I thought I needed a circle <laughs> and I made it too big. So now we're making it smaller. Uh, but for those of you who haven't heard of Cult of the Lamb, uh, it's a game that did recently come out and it is very, very fun. I've been very addicted to this game. I haven't really been able to put it down much. Um, I just keep playing it and I'm thinking about streaming it either on my channel or on Twitch sometime uh, in the upcoming week just because I want to keep playing it. And here is the finished head, almost. It's missing an ear, but it's close enough. Um, as you can see, we have summoned our dark powers here because that doesn't look like an ear, does it? But it will. Look at that. Now it's an ear. I had to sacrifice one of the cats uh, to make that happen, but you know, it did. And now we have some luscious, gorgeous, flowing locks. Um, sadly, I spent maybe, I don't know, an hour less or so trying to get this hair just perfect, because as we went over last time, uh, I have a bit of a problem with making things needing to look a certain way. But since we are not going to continue using this head, spoiler alert, um, you know, we're just going to move on from the head and not really worry about it. So as you can see, I finished the hair, attached the eyes. I'm making the collar and uh, attaching this little binky thing for the body so that I have something to attach the arms and the legs to, as you see right there. The disproportions are, of course, on purpose, as that is how the lamb is presented. I'm trying to make this and cover up his indecency because no cult leader should be caught with their rear end hanging out. And here I'm trying to make the blood in the eyes um, with Poscas, which was a terrible mistake to even try and put Posca markers on felt. I've seen Graveyard Loon do this a couple times, but I'm pretty sure looking back at it, it was only the parts that were actually made of like paper felt, like the actual felt felt that's like fabric and not yarn. So that was a huge mistake. Glad we're not using this head anyway. So after that was a horrible, horrible thing that happened to me. I had to sit here and I sat and I did the little lines and I did the face uh, going piece by piece, just trying my best to be a stitch machine and getting them clean lines in because I don't want to be sacrificed to the gods. So now we have the bell attached to the collar and he's all good. I still am feeling so ridiculous. I need to add the blood to the eyes. I stabbed my finger, gave that up, decided, all right, look, there he is. He's done. He's great, right? So we all love him. We think that he's cute, right? Um, well, that's just, that's too bad because, you know, he is super cute and I think that his body came out really good. Uh, but as I said before, we're not going to be using that head, so don't get attached. <laughs> uh, so here it is. I sat there for a day and I said, why does this look off to me? Why does this look weird? I pull up my game and I'm like, ah, he has a square head. And as we've been over, I am a bit of a psychopath. So I <laughs> had to go back after this was already done when I was going to move on to another character and make his head square. So here's the new head. I think that it did turn out a lot better um, than the other one. I was actually able to get the nose and the mouth with the tiny little needle. The 
tiny needle is the key to making better needle felt. I completely forgot about that one last time. But here I am making the second eye. Um, so I'm trying to make a circle and then after I make the circle, I'm just attaching a little bit more of the felt to the bottom so that I can kind of get like a little drip shape and then kind of angle it in so that way it is separated from the roundness of the eye. Um, I did put that eye that's currently attached a little bit too far in and between you and me, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to rip our cult leader's eyes out and then fix that. But don't tell him that because I'm currently trying to establish myself as his favorite. That way I can get favoritism within the cult and be sacrificed. Um, I hear that there is a pendant that makes you live for a long time. I don't want that. So uh, I'm hoping... <laughs> that I can, you know, get a smooth ride out, maybe be sacrificed myself. So with that being said, I'm gonna finish up this eye. Blood was shed for this. Blood was indeed shed for this. I did, in fact, stab my finger multiple times making this project. But you know, when you're, when you're part of something greater, sometimes blood must be shed to make your maker, I suppose. And look at that little failure sitting off in the corner over there with a perfectly good body and a weird head that he is going to get rid of. It really is a shame because it, it was a cute little round head, but it's it's just not it's just not good. It's it's not good at all. So we do have to get rid of it. Both eyes are attached and I'm looking to make sure that the head is an appropriate size to put on the body of the vessel and in order to do that I did need to kind of square it up and you know what's about to happen next. Uh, I gotta rip the head off of the false prophet. But before I can do that, I do need to finish his actual head first. So we'll come back to the head ripping in a little bit. After ripping the head off of the false prophet, I am now able to give it to our true messiah, the lamb. The actual lamb, not the round papega lamb who is indeed an imposter sent among us. He will be dealt with as necessary. Now I can finish attaching the rest of the accoutrement. I can add the horns as well as the ears, finish up the hair, make sure that everything that I want attached is attached. And then after I get the hair and everything like that attached, then we can go ahead and put the head on. After the head is finally completed and my tendencies to need to make everything absolutely perfect, otherwise it doesn't work, will be satiated and we can all move on with our lives. Uh, and he will have the correct sized head and not a circle. I feel like the hair on this one came out a little bit better than the hair on the last one. I did end up liking it a lot more. I ended up, you know, kind of using a similar technique as I used for the front of the hair on the last one, but on the entire thing. So what I ended up doing was I, I kind of bunched it, I guess, as a way of putting it, and then I just... Uh, stabbed it down with the needle and then I would bunch it again in another area and then I would stab that down kind of give it like a fluffy look because I did want it to look very fluffy and very big I ended up making it a little too big on the bottom of the head but whatever you know that kind of stuff can be fixed I'm just attaching the rest of the hair here. That way, you know, you guys can kind of see what's going on. You can see me kind of like roll it up and then pin it back down and then roll it up and pin it back down. And it's kind of just that process the whole way around um, for this whole thing. And then after that is attached, then I just have to put it on the collar. 
I hope that you guys are enjoying the video so far. Do let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this because I think next time we're going to move on from the needle felting. Uh, I know some of you are probably like, finally, finally, something else besides needle felting. But these, this is a really fun craft for me and I do have a lot of fun doing it. So I do appreciate you guys letting me indulge in my hobby because this has become like a pretty big hobby for me. It is something that I do really like doing. It is fun to try and experiment with new things. So if you want to see more needle felting, let me know what you want to see later on in the future. Um, but for now, you know, what other kind of crafts do you guys want to see me do? I'm thinking about... Uh, I don't know about squishies, but maybe something different. Uh, but possibly, I ordered some resin, so I will be going back to the resin and just kind of going from there. And hopefully I find a mix that y'all like. I think that the head makes a dramatic improvement and I think that it turned out really, really well with the fixes. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope that you like this craft. And again, if you guys want to see me stream play games, um, let me know down below. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for coming. And I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't get sacrificed while I'm gone.